Hi there, Dave Aguilera with you in Colorado's Weather Center. Well, the big question back here is why has it been so dry around here and what will it take for us to get some heavy snow coming in our direction? Now, first of all, it's been so dry and so hot for two reasons. Number one, climate change. The temperatures are heating up. We're drying out. The other thing is we have a big, strong La Nina going on and heading into the winter. La Nina is the cooling of the water off the coast of South America down here, and we've got strong trade winds that push cool cooler air up, cools the water, and pushes everything out in this direction. So that scenario tends to push our jet stream, our storm driving jet stream, into the northern part of the U.S. and up into Canada here. So in a typical La Nina year, we get the Pacific Northwest getting most of the moisture, and in areas from St. Louis up into Washington and New York getting more of the moisture. From Colorado southward, it tends to be dry and tends to be warm, and that's exactly what the setup has been. Here's the jet stream forecast, one of them that we have going on all the way through the middle of December. You can see we get these little dry cold fronts coming through, but again, it's just instantly replaced by this warming ridge that tends to push the jet stream up to the north and riding over the northern part of uh, the United States. So with that scenario, we just do not get any moisture coming through. The moisture revolves around these low pressure areas and they stay well up to the north of Colorado. And that's been the trend for the last several weeks for most of the season for that matter, and that's why we haven't seen any snow, measurable snow, I should say, in the Denver metro area officially. Now, here's what we need to happen for Denver and the Front Range to get heavy snow. First, we need Arctic air to plunge as far south as Texas. We need to get that in place. Then the other element we need, either a storm system riding the jet and rolling down in our direction or a cutoff low forming down here, and that spinning up into the Arctic air and acting kind of as a vacuum cleaner to push moisture back up against the front range. So if we go with the cutoff low scenario, we need that for Denver to get heavy snow to set up right over the Oklahoma panhandle here, and that's a prime spot for us to get upslope and heavy snow in our direction. If it sets up over Albuquerque down here, Pueblo, Colorado Springs get most of the snow. We will get some accumulating snow, but, but that's what we need, either northern New Mexico, panhandle of Oklahoma, or Kansas for us to get that backwash moisture around here and get heavy snow here in the Mile High City. At this point, at least through mid-December, it does not look like any one of those scenarios set up. So even if we get a little chance of snow here and there, we should stay dry all the way through that period, which is just not a good thing to happen. Thanks for checking us out here on CBSN.